Welcome to the real deal. What is up, guys? It's your boy, the real deal, back with another Ray Channel video. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at the closest CVC match in the history of CVC. Um, so just before we start, um, when I originally recorded this, like an absolute buffoon, I didn't turn my microphone on. Um, so I've got 11 minutes of footage with no sound on them. And because CVC's finished, I've lost all the details now. So the only way for me to do this is I'm going to have to re-record myself over the top of it, which I apologise for. But anyway, let's get on with the show. So it was my clan, the Troll House versus Asgard. And as you can see, we beat them by a thousand points. Um, it was a very, very close match towards the end. But let's rewind back two days. Um, so CVC kicked off and Asgard coming in hard. And um, they had about a one million point lead throughout almost the entire CVC against us. Every time we got a little bit close, they would just push and push and push. So day one, they're in the lead. Day two, they're in the lead. And day three, I've gone to sleep. I've woken up. There's four hours to go. And all, all my boys, they've pitched in. So boys and ladies, uh, they've all pitched in and they pushed. And we've got a 600k lead ahead. I'm like, okay. I've got 200k points and for personal rewards I want to get all those top tier um, rewards so I need to reach 350k points that's 150k in four hours I've got to do so I'm like okay let's put in some work so you know start doing 3v3 arena faction wars forging gear books whatever I can to get up those points in the last couple of hours I start going for it um, and there's about an hour left I have a look I've reached 350 and We've got about, we still got that 600k lead over the top of them. So I'm like, okay, it's cool. This should be an easy win. And then, um, you know, I'm like, okay, I can just chill out now. So I start doing uh, some more Minotaur runs because I just need to finish uh, doing Masteries for Gaius. So I'm like, okay, let go, let go. And then um, there's about 10 minutes left. Have a look. And we're still 600k in the lead. So I'm like, okay, then um, I'll just do some Doom Tower. And hop in Doom Tower, doing like floor, I don't know, say 110 or whatever. Start doing that. And then it's about a minute to go. And I have a look. And they're ahead of us. I'm like, what? They're like 40k points ahead of us. I'm like, how has this happened? What? what damn. What is going on? So I'm like, okay, let's, uh, I need to do something. Luckily, I'm an absolute hoarder and I save all my, you know, I save my resources for things like this. So um, I've got Cleopatrix. I'm like, okay, let's pull up. Bang, 30k points right there. And I have a look, and they're still in the lead by like 20 points now. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Um, there's like five seconds to go. I'm like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? I've got Narrow the Lucky. Bang, pull him as well. That's another 30k points there. And then I start looking at the scoreboard, and it just won't update. And I'm like, come on, come on, I need to see, I need to see. And I'm looking, I'm looking, and it just won't update. And um, Narrow the Lucky, the 30k points that hasn't gone through yet. I'm like, okay. I'm looking, I'm looking, and it's just not updating. Three, two, one, bang! Game over. And it's just finished. I'm like, oh no. I know. I've put so many resources into this. I pulled Gaius. I mean, I paid, I pulled three fragment ch uh, champions for this. You know, I've done books. Um, you know, I think I did 5,000 uh, arena medals. All sorts of things. Like, I pumped so many resources into this to get this win. And I have a look. And we've just beaten them by 1,000 points. And I'm like, wow. Thank God for that. I'm like, Jesus. Like, I couldn't even tell. Like, it did look like they had won it. And luckily, by me pulling those like two champions last last couple of seconds, just managed just to get us the win there. Um, but yeah, I can't say that it was all down to me. Um, sorry, let's just pause the video a sec. Um, I know that three or four of my other clan mates helped out last minute just to. They were also sort of just doing sort of runs and stuff, but obviously that 60k that I just banged out of nowhere definitely helped us get that win. But they were also, if they hadn't put the work in there. We wouldn't have done it. So team effort all round. Yeah, as you can see, my clan leader Kodo, he really put in some work there with his 557k. Me at 413. Scab, Diftar, Dow, Tweedle, Austin, Devneb, Tart. You know, to be fair, Gus, Classy, all these guys are putting in work. Um, but I think the people that did put in work the last sort of couple of minutes, um, well, they noticed that it was. It was a uh, Dow, um, Dow Classy, I think P1 and SP. And so let's just scroll back there a bit as well. So as you can see, 
I, I can understand this clan must be raging because you know and look at loki he's done like 800k i mean fair play to them they they you know they were doing they were pushing hard but um i think where they've lost there was a bit of a bit of rage and they kicked t 10 10 of their clan members like that's it you guys didn't do good enough bang you're gone and to be fair it's not like they were slacking like 180k that's not terrible um yeah but yeah, obviously they weren't happy and they're like, bang, you're you're gone. But anyway, yeah, so even though it was quite stressful, it was actually probably the most fun I've actually had in uh, fun I've actually had in C V C. Um yeah. And you know, shout out to all my clan mates because they all put in work there, you know. And not just that as well. Um the only thing that I wish is that even though it was a fun C V C, it's the only time I've probably actually enjoyed C V C. Is I just wish it was more like I don't know, just like PvP based or something, you know. So, you know, our best player would go against their best player or how whatever strategy you want to have. There needs to be some sort of way where you attack them. Like even if like we had a clan boss that we build out of our champions or something and they have or like even like Doom Tower, like you know, we would build floors out of our champions and they would have to try and beat them and whoever beats the other person first wins, something like that. Rather than just being who's got the most money or who's got the most resources but yeah so um now um so i did this as completely free to play and i'll sort of go through how i did that okay so first up let's let have a look at the cvc rewards i got so yeah we were tier six um last time but unfortunately a few of us were on holiday and you know we weren't really pushing i think there'd been like a big uh tournament on for chris so we were low on resources so fair enough we dropped down to tier five yeah, not too keen on the crit damage gear. Um, now that there's that Deathstroke gear, which is speed and crit damage, it's not as valuable. Void shards are great. Um, the clan points are really good as well. Epic books, I wish they were probably Lego books. To be honest, and to be fair, why don't they chuck in a few sacreds as well? Um, but yeah, the most the thing that I really wanted was that energy. Uh, two what was it two point four k? Well, two thousand four hundred energy. That's what I wanted the most because energy. Is just so important in this game and i'm going to be using all of that for by night to in to get that savage gear yeah but the, the thing that annoyed me about this though is so i claimed it and it just um yeah straight away bangs to you know 2004 energy so it just means i had to start running uh dragon that new tournament but anyway and now yeah, let's have a quick look so yeah amulet this is top gear Accuracy, resistance, and crit damage. That is an amazing piece. Hopefully, it all lands in accuracy, though. So, really pleased with that. That'd be great on like a ton, uh, Trunda or Herndig or any any Nuka for dwarves. So, that's definitely a keep. Uh, Lizardmen, um, accuracy, and HP and resistance. That's great. Happy with that as well. This is a real shame. I mean, accuracy banner is amazing, but if only it had speed on there. I mean, if it all landed in, uh, accru um, in attack. That would still be a valuable piece and this one as well just the same just really gutted that there's no speed on there but i mean could potentially use that on a vogoth but yeah still i'll keep it i may use it in the future who knows okay so now i'm gonna go through the secrets as how to do this you know how to do cvc as a free to free uh, sorry, as a free to play as a free to play player um so saving your resources is the number one thing so Fragments. I had uh is it Gleus, Gaius? Um I had him, I had Cleopatrix, I had uh Nara or the Lucky, and you know, Yannicka, I've had her in, in there for months. And I'll just save them and I'll I'll pull them when I need them for CVC. Because it's 30k points. It is so valuable. So next time you do a fragment fusion, hold off pulling them straight away and save them for CVC. Um I wouldn't even use them for champion chase. I would rather use them for CVC it's better to get that reaction gear and you should champion chase you should be able to get the top tier just from your uh, things that you get anyway so i did have 500 uh sorry i had 5000 uh gold tokens so uh was it medals that i've been saving for arena so i've been saving that for months as well i think the last uh two cvc i didn't use that so i saved that for this one as well other one forge Forge is absolutely amazing, you know, as I've got 630 uh, perception. And when you use uh, charms, that will also help 
give you more points because obviously the better gear that you pull the more points you get but um yeah and those tokens the ones that give you uh two times of better rarity and also a better chance of getting six star gear i would only use that for swift perry perception uh maybe untouchable maybe guardian and um lethal but lethal perception are probably like the main two that i focus on because that is probably the best gear in the game perception absolutely amazing you know prince kaimar madame any sort of stripper uh anyone like that's do it like a basher uh or warlord anyone that's blocking skills it is so valuable so yeah that is like the best gear in the game so useful to have and yeah yeah i like i use it on my lydia um that new champion mathrala she's great as well um but yeah there's loads of champions that that gear is just the best to have on so the other place that's really great to get uh points for cvc is 3v3 um so you know i'm in silver four so i get 5500 for winning 10 games with a perfect score of three out of three um hopefully i should be getting into gold one with the patch changes um so i should be able to get into gold one which will give me even more points and i can get better rewards from the bazaar as well but um yeah and you know if you spend 15 gems you can you know farm 3v3 and get another 5500 points very easily that's 15k points i can get a day very easily and i can do it three days so that is 45k points just from 3v3 that is absolutely amazing so when you sort of get towards the end game this is another great way to get points uh faction wars is also another great place so now that they've got super raids you know it's very easy to do the boss very quickly and that's another great way to get points but yeah that these would be the main things um in this cbc i was actually doing minotaur and the potion keep potion keep had uh bonus points on it so you get double the points for doing it um normally i would just do spider but i really needed to um get some of my champions masteries so i think i did like four champions masteries and it cost me probably about you know I think 1500 uh gems um and i did mithrala um i did gaius gaius i can't remember i don't know i have to look at his name see how to read it um yeah and there's a whole bunch of champions that you know and when when it comes to mastery as well you only want to do the champions that are your top top champions because you may put masteries in someone it's a lot it's a big investment to put masteries on someone and if you do it and they're not great then you've just completely wasted it um but yeah spider is usually what most uh top clans do you know they've got very fast teams that can do 20 or 25 in like 20 to 40 seconds and that is a great way to farm uh points for cvc and get a, a ton load of silver as well so yeah yeah so that is the end of the video uh just before we end i just want to have a uh, one more time, a massive shout out to my clan mates in Trollhouse for the closest CVC. It has to be the closest CVC in CVC history. And congrats on the wins, guys. Thank you for all the work that you all put in. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you leave me a cheeky thumbs up and make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.